In this video we're going to take our character and add a crosshair to the centre of the screen to allow us to aim at things. We're also going to offset the player's camera to allow them to use the crosshair and set up a line trace system in order to actually begin to interact with objects in the world using the camera. The first thing we're going to do is create a new blueprint widget which is going to contain our crosshair image. Um, first thing you'll want to do is go to your blueprints folder go into your UI folder, right click and create a new user interface widget blueprint just like we did with the main menu a couple of episodes ago. This is going to inherit from the uh, common class user widget and name it w underscore crosshair. When you open up this widget you'll be met with an empty screen. Since it's going to be displayed on the player's screen we need a canvas panel and then an image in order to actually contain the crosshair image. Make sure that the image is parented to the canvas panel so that it's a child of it. Take your image and in the details panel on the right hand side set its anchor to the center point of the screen. This will mean that no matter how big the canvas panel is or how much it changes your crosshair will always be in the center of the screen. Set the image's location to zero so that it now matches up the zero zero coordinate in the top left corner with the center pivot for the anchor and if you set the alignment to 0.5 and 0.5 you will offset the image by exactly half its height and width so that the anchor point is now centered on it. With the anchor centered and the image centered we can now choose a crosshair image to display. Here in the details panel underneath the anchors and the alignment you have the appearance section. The brush drop down contains the options to insert and size an image. So there are a number of default textures built into the engine that you could use uh, or you can create your own ones from scratch. So I'm just going to use this target point texture. It's currently distorted because the image is not automatically sizing itself to the content. It has a defined size. If I change this to 200 I can distort it even more or if I try and align it then I can set it up approximately but it's much easier to just let Unreal handle this for you and check the box here size to content now the image will no longer be distorted it looks like it might be a little bit small so if you want to you can adjust the size of the image not here up in the canvas panel slot but here in the brush and appearance options for image size I'm going to double it to 64 by 64 compile this blueprint and save it in order to display it on your character's screen, we're going to set up a blueprint which will control this. We ha I have one already set up um, here. This uses the exact same script that we used for the main menu, except that instead of selecting the main menu, you want to spawn in the crosshair instead. So, to build this from scratch, you would need to first create a new blueprint, right-click, Blueprint class and choose Actor. I've named this BP for Blueprint HUD Controller. In the HUD Controller you don't need to add any new components. This is going to be an empty actor which just holds script. Go to the event graph. You will need the Begin Play node which will be called when this actor is spawned into the world. So as soon as this actor is spawned in we're going to create widget choose the widget class that you want to spawn. This is the crosshair we just built. And once it's constructed the crosshair, you want to add it to the viewport. You won't be able to find the add to viewport node if you just use the right click menu. It won't show up unless it is being dragged off from this blue pin on the crosshair widget menu. This is because this is a reference to a widget and the add viewport node is an action that requires a widget as input. So add to viewport. To implement this in your level, simply take the HUD controller actor, drag it into your level, place it anywhere. It's invisible, so it doesn't matter. And when you press play, the script will run and your crosshair will be placed in the center of the screen. It's working, but it's not very useful because it currently always aims at our character. So I'm going to find my third person character and I'm just going to move the camera slightly off to one side 
which will allow us to aim past our character and aim at objects in the world. <laughs>